Howdy YouTube, welcome to RV Daydream and uh, snow. So, uh, I'm cold, uh, I gotta make this one quick. <laughs> what have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. You guys that follow us for a while, uh, you know that we've been in Florida for the last three years and this ain't florida <laughs> this is northeast ohio uh, although we're not getting a lot of snow we're getting a, enough snow that um it's you know it's cold um it was uh actually you know again people that know this from the north um the colder it gets usually the less snow you get but in this case we got a, a pretty cool day and a pretty snowy day and uh, it's only going to get worse. Now, I, I don't know if you can tell, but I do have snow on me. I was trying to clean up some snow in the, in the driveway just to, to walk around here. And what you're looking at here, because we were in Florida um, the last three years, this represents my winter clothing. <laughs> uh, just jeans, uh, this pullover thing, and a leather jacket from roughly uh, 1990. Uh, I've had this jacket a long time. So the fact that we're back in Ohio now, we were shopping for winter clothing or I need a winter jacket. And uh, there was a company that reached out to me and said, would you like to check out our heated jacket? <laughs> I'm like, absolutely. Uh, the company is Neveland. I'll say Neveland because it looks a lot like Cleveland, but it starts with an N. So we'll just say Neveland. They have an offering that looked pretty good on paper. And it's a little bit different than the heated jacket that we got for Heidi, actually. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to jump into this. Heidi's been extremely happy with the fact that she's got a jacket she can turn on and keep herself warm. Well, i, I be honest, I was a little childish and a little jealous that she had a, such a nice jacket. And again, nothing wrong with 1990s leather, uh, but there's you know a purpose for this. And, and it's not to be out in the cold with it necessarily. So. Uh, whenever they reached out, uh, I, you know, I started looking at the specs that they have on theirs, and it, it's pretty nice. It's like a, a 10,000 milliamp battery pack, um, it, and it has like a USB charger on it, so you can plug your phone into it. So it's not only waterproof and windproof, um, it does have a hood that's detachable. That's a little bit different than some of the others that you just kind of hide in the collar. But more importantly, this thing has different heating zones, different heating zones. So let's take a look at it. Let's get it out of the package. So again, this was sent to us at no charge. And uh, the only you know thing was they said, can you take a look at it and do a review? Uh, they didn't say, you know, do a great review. They're hoping for a great review. And quite honestly, I don't see why, you know, why there would be an issue with that. Don't do what I'm doing. Uh, don't cut it open with a box cutter or a carpet cutter. Uh, you may cut into something you don't want to. Ooh, okay. So it comes with a, a storage bag of some kind, which I've, I, I didn't see that, you know, with any of the other manufacturers. That's different. Um, of course, you got to watch your sizing on these because, you know, we're, we're much bigger than uh, most countries as far as our size being around. And they have some nice uh, Velcro tags here. We've seen that on the other brands. Oh, one's got, it's actually got an American flag. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, you know how we are patriotic. And in this case, I had to get a 3XL. But yeah, this is different. I I didn't expect this. Let's go ahead and set this off to the side. Yeah, this is, this is the same material as this. That, it's, it's almost the exact same material as this. Now, this isn't insulated at all. This is just a light pullover. It actually has zip-off sleeves. Okay, so here's your AC adapter. Oh, it's nice and warm in here <laughs> uh, because it's been in the house. All right, yeah, you, you, what you would expect to charge your battery bank. I just thought of something. That other company didn't include a, a charger. They just gave you your battery bank. So that's good. Oh, before I do, I, I wanted to show you this. It has a, a battery gauge on it, which that's nice. Um, right now, for example, it came shipped and it says it is 50 to 75%. Now they say with the battery pack that you can get up to 20 hours, 20 hours of this thing, um, you know, keeping you warm. 
that's going to be on the lowest setting on the jacket and I'm sure it's probably going to be one zone. Let's take a look at that because I just told you something that is another feature on this. So the material overall is lighter than what we're used to, but that's not bad. They, they have it what they call carbon fiber heating zones. I don't know exactly what that entails, but uh, you know, your heat's going to be coming from that. So, you know, more than anything else. And again, the hood does detach if you don't want to run a hood. Uh, the zipper goes up really high up on the neck and it's a really nice, you know what, this is kind of cool. It's a, I, I know this ain't gonna come on camera, but it's a vinyl zipper, but it's, the vinyl has a, a seal on it. That's gotta be for the wind, I would assume. And the interior lining is like a real, look at this, it's like silky. This isn't anything like I would have expected. Um, this looks very comfortable. And this is for a 3X, this is very lightweight. Um, I'm normally a 2X guy, so US guys, if you're buying these, you want to go one size up. I've looked at the dimensions and they, I just don't see it any other way. All right, there's a few pockets in here. You know, you have a couple external pockets and they've got, you got all kinds of stuff here. What's this? Is Global Recycle Standard. This must be some sort of a, oh, it's the insulation. They gave you a, a, a sample of the insulation. It says it's a, S U G E N R O. You can be confident that you're making a positive impact on the environment, so it must be uh, obtained pretty naturally. It is a it says blue sign certificate. The zipper, no wonder it's a it's a YKK zipper. You guys know that's a a, a really good. You know you ha used to have T uh, Talon, and then you have YKK. YKK is very very popular. So the surface is 100% polyester. The insulation is 100 percent polyester and the lining is a hundred percent polyester so we can pretty much say this is a polyester jacket all right so there's a little tag here it talks about uh, to minimize distraction the power button lights are programmed to turn off after one minute several quick blinks before off and then they enter a sleep mode. In sleep mode, the heating mechanism is still working. The lights can be reactivated to show the current status by a single press of either sleep button. And you may want to continue pressing the buttons to adjust the heating power. Please refer to the user manual for details. Now, um, they're talking about the, the on off, basically, the heating on this. You've got two buttons on this, which is very unique. So if you were one of these guys that you know, it's maybe it's too hot up front or too hot in the back or not warm enough on your back. That's my case. My back is always cold. My front, uh, it gets a little cold, but you know, I'm packing on a lot of insulation, um, but my back. So they have a front and a back um, and there's different levels of heat based on each and you can have one hotter than the other. So uh, very, very good design whenever you get to where you can adjust it individually uh, for the, um, uh, zone that you're wanting to to put on your body which that's kind of cool so of course you get your storage bag your user manual there's some arm badges that's what those tags are with that USA flag your power adapter and power bank so we've pretty much seen all that uh, the heating zones so basically they're showing one up in the neck area is one zone that's different yeah they've got one in the back collar then they have one about the middle of the back, across the middle of the back, and then two lower. So the zones that are on the front are basically in the front real low, it looks like for your hands, which makes sense. This area here is pretty much, you know, stays warmer than most. Uh, plus the heat will generate up and kind of be in that area. Um, now, I had some questions based on our last uh, review that we've done on jackets, and they talked about, oh, overheating and too hot. No, no, don't worry about that. You're not gonna have it. It has built in, you know, conditions that it won't overheat. It, you know, you're not going to burn yourself. Um, it, it's, it, you know, unless there's a fault, you know, something just like a heating pad. If you have a problem with the heating pad and there's a fault, you know, of course, something like that can happen, but it's not designed in any way to just keep on heating you indefinitely. Um, so it will shut off. All right, it's continuing to snow even harder out there. So let me go ahead and uh, switch some of this stuff out and put this jacket on. All right, so I took my jacket off, so I'm very cold right now. I am a cold person. I like it hot. You guys know that, I've been watching for a while. 
I am definitely a hot, hot temperature person. Oh, okay, so the hood, so it's Velcroed on the side. That's that's definitely different. It's Velcroed, again, I know this thing gonna come out on camera, but it's Velcroed right here. And then you can see this is kind of open and then it attaches to the hood. Um, and then the hood is connected with a zipper. And then it's, again, another open spot. Same on the other side. Um, there's drawstrings throughout. In this case, this would be the drawstring for your hood. And then there's another drawstring down at the bottom here. Okay, so if you unzip the left pocket, you're gonna find a, a cord that pops out right away. That's not the plug-in cord. That's for a drawstring that's kind of for your midsection. Um, behind kind of the left pocket is a little Velcro hidden area, a hidden secret compartment. And then you'll find the plug in which the battery bank can then be plugged into. Boom, just like that. We'll go ahead and hide that. Okay, I saw this light up briefly uh, to show or indicate that I plugged it in. We'll go ahead and uh, put the Velcro back together to keep that secure. And now I'm going to put the jacket on because I am cold. Let's see what the fit is. Now I'm six foot, I'm 270 pounds. And uh, okay, this is definitely a nice big jacket for me. Let's see how the zipper works. Okay, you definitely, you guys definitely want to get a 3X. Now there's, a, look at this, there's another pocket right here. Ooh, and it's pretty deep too. That's, that's pretty cool. Oh, oh, this thing's got a ton of pockets. Check this out. There's another pocket right here. Yeah, look how deep that one is. I know what I could keep in there. That would be nice. Yeah, this is, this is pretty slick. It's pretty comfortable. Let me unzip the right pocket. Just as a jacket alone, I, I feel pretty comfortable with this. Look how nice and long the sleeves are. So let's see what the heating's like on this. Again, there's a few buttons down here at the bottom. Um, let's see how hard that is to deal with. So they're over kind of on the side. Let's go ahead and do front. I'm assuming I gotta hold it for a couple seconds. Yep, and then it comes on. And then the rear, hold that on for a couple seconds, right? And then you've got different colors. Looks like it's kind of doing a pulsing, flashing. There you go, there's another one. There's another. These are all different settings. Of course, the cool settings are cool colors. We'll go ahead and go to the warmest because I am freezing right now. Um, what you can do is you can plug in an external battery bank, a bigger one and plug it into this battery bank they give you, and that will extend this battery bank from discharging. So the lighting changed, I had to close the garage door because uh, yeah, it's getting colder out there, but it's not getting colder in here. Um, the heating source is a little bit different than I expected. Um, I expected more like heating pad, I guess. Um, it's not, it's like a comfort. It's kind of like somebody's hugging you and you can feel their hug. Um, it, and it is getting warmer. Uh, so I'm gonna put this in the category of like a fall jacket, um, something that is windproof, waterproof, and great for like football games on crisp fall nights. I don't think that I'd put this in a winter category, but you can feel that there's a, a warmth that's going on there that you're not generating. Uh, I just expected it to get like I said, a heating pad feel, but you know, obviously you can't do that based on a battery bank. That's why heating pads, you plug them in and you know, they're, they're using household current to do their job. Um, it, but it does feel warmer. And I like the, the fact, again, windproof, waterproof. So it's a little bit lighter. It's definitely lighter for how big this is. And this again, guys, um, uh, six foot, 270 pounds. I would normally weigh, uh, wear, <laughs> I'd normally weigh something reasonable. <laughs> I would uh, normally wear uh, a double X, um, but uh, because of the sizing and the chart, I went with a triple X. I'm very glad that I did. My hands, you know, these fall right to the, uh, the heels of my hands whenever I have them down, maybe even a little further. Um, and I have pretty broad shoulders, so that fits real well. I've got a lot of room to move around in this. You can see the sleeves don't go riding way up when I do that. And um, the pockets, I do like the pockets and the zippers. They advertise, you know, YKK zipper. I see why. It's a real nice tight seal through here. Um, again, being waterproof for the most part, you could, I mean, there's so little of a gap here. Again, this doesn't come on a camera, but it's a very small gap. 
And the um, pockets, the, the internal pockets that you have here, um, there's another one here, and all those drawstrings to keep that warmth thin. You know, you just pull those drawstrings and it's going to snug up against you even more. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's going to fit the, the, the need. Uh, I just expected something that was like hot. I don't know why I expected something that was going to be really hot. But th this is comfortable. This is like a real nice, comfortable. You could wear it for quite a bit. Now, I do have it again on the, uh, you can see here, the little light that comes up. I have it on the warmest setting. And again, you could feel the heat. It's just, it's just much different than I expected, that's all. Um, I, I don't, uh, again, I have no expectation because I've never had a heated coat before uh, or a heated jacket and, and that's kind of what I anticipated, but it's not that way at all. So the links are going to be down in the description and since you stay till the end, we have a pretty good discount uh, that the uh, supplier is providing. So use the link in the description. It's going to take you to their site. If you use that code, you're going to get, I think, 20% off. I'm actually not sure, but I know it's a pretty big discount and uh, you'll get this for cheap. Um, so as always guys, we hope to see you out there. Bye.